We are all God's servant, and God has entrusted us with little, to some with much, and to some just in the middle. But whether we like it or not, or whether we are a leader or just a mere member, God has given us and stored something for us. And at the end of the day, when we will be facing with him, God will be asking, what have you done? Yes, it's true that there is grace and mercy available for everyone. But I'm so sure that God will be asking to each one of us, what have you done? And of course, God will not be demanding for something that he did not give. He gave us all already uh, talents and ability based on our capacity. Ang gusto ngayon sa ginoo sa ato is bunga. It's like a fruit or it's like a vineyard. Sa Osaka Master, the reason nga nung nag-plant siya o tree, nag plant siya of fruit is because he wants harvest. And think of this, that we'll be facing God in heaven at the, you know, during the judgment day. And God said, where is your fruit? And you have nothing to give because you are not producing. And all of the people on earth who are lining up there, who are ahead of you, you can see them carry their baskets of fruit or money or whatever it is. And there in heaven, naglinya ka o ang tanan ng mga tao, nagdala sila sa ilang mga bunga, nagdala sila sa ilang mga ginansya, o ilang gihatag ganto kang Kristo Jesus. And you are there, you are, while you are, in that line, you are so distressed, okay, because you know that you'll be asking the same question. And you carry nothing. You came there or you go there empty-handed. And you have nothing to give. What will be your feeling? That is why you will not be happy if you will not be producing. In any ministry, in any call in life, you won't be happy if you are not bearing fruit. Sa ato, ginagmay lang ng mga responsibility gihatag sa ginoo. Gusto gin sa ginoo yun nga mo asin suta. In your, if you are a reader, magbabasa ka lang, Dili gusto sa ginoo nga imong binasahan 10 years ago hantol garon mo ra gyapon kung nagwali ka nag-share ka dili gusto sa ginoo nga imong winalihan 20 years ago 30 years ago mo ra gyapon gusto sa ginoo nga naay pagkuminto naay pag-usuwag the same with business dili gusto sa ginoo nga pag-start nimo sa imong negosyo ten buta talang 1000 imong kapital after ni mo pag negosyo 5 to 10 years, pagkwinta sa imong kwarta, 1,000 lang yapon, nagkalapait ka lang yapon, sige ka lang lakag. Because God's kingdom is an ever-increasing kingdom. We are living in God's kingdom and everyone, every day, is progressing. Bawat isa sa ato, kadaadlaw diri, gaubinto ta, galambo ta, unia, looy kayo, maglingi kayo, may iksoon, Layo na kay ang imong naabot ang imong isuon na aragi hapon dito sa starting line. That is why whatever ministry you have in the church, whatever call in life or field in life that you are taking right now, God wants you to produce. God wants you to progress and to increase. Dili lang edad ang mo increase, dili lang ang sugar count o ang cholesterol lato mo increase, kung dili hinaot unta nga mo increase ta, 
in all aspects in our lives, especially sa imong pagpangalagad sa Ginoo. Kung ikaw nangalagad sa Ginoo 5 years, 10 years, 30 years ago, it's now about time to ask yourself, how far have I gone? Unsa na kalayo ang imong journey? Dili man ni contest lahutay man ni pero diha sa paglahutay, dili gusto sa Ginoo nga magpasinaw lang ka sa imong bangko o sa imong lubot, the same nga inkuranan 30 years ago. If you're listening to this live stream, I'm challenging you. God wants you to increase and to progress every day because you are living in God's kingdom and God's kingdom is an ever-increasing kingdom. Please stand.